How's it going everybody? I'm just here getting my hunting arrows ready for season and uh, I thought I'd go through uh, on just how easy it is to put your own arrows. So I'm going to run through it. Um, starting off I got a nice cleaned off uh, arrow shaft here. I did remove uh, wrap and veins here. Um, by doing that you can just take a box cutter knife or they do have stripper tools um, that will strip the veins that are kind of contoured to the shaft so you're not digging into carbon because if you do peel off carbon um, it's just ruining your arrows. So to start off I'm gonna get a arrow wrap out here. Looks like I blew off the table. And a mouse pad works great for this. You want some elevated surface um, to where you can line up everything good. You're just going to lay it down there. Line it up at the back of the knot the knock or the arrow shaft there so right where the shaft meets the knock make sure everything's straight and start it off and then you're just going to press down into it I like to make sure that edge is down and then continue to roll make sure that it's a loose knock in there Make sure that air shaft, so you get a nice crest like that. Next, I'm going to prep my veins here, which on these Max Stealths, which I love because they're nice and quiet veins, um, they do have a release agent or some residue on there that you do want to clean off. So you can use acetone or uh, alcohol. I'm using 91% alcohol. Uh, isopropyl. And I'm just going to rub the bases here. Just give it a nice scrub so everything adheres well. And I'm doing a four fletch. It does not really matter either way. Um, three or four. I've tested them both out. Both shoot very well stabilize well so so the next thing you would do um, is shoot this bear shaft or a arrow bear shaft the same ones you're going to shoot and see which way your bow wants to shoot it most counter or most clockwise served bow strings are going to throw an arrow left and um, so for the zebra strings that are on my matthews it's throwing it left so i'm going to fletch them left So from here, I do have everything marked out to where I like it here. So I'm going to line it up with the dash on the clamp there. I usually leave it a little out so um, the base gets a good adherence and kind of self-level. So when I go to apply my glue, I kind of dot it along. Make sure everything's even and then kind of give it a nice smear. Less is more just because um, you want to do a clean job and it honestly does not take much to have good adherence. So I'm going to seat the back of the clamp here, make sure it, it sucks into the, the magnet. Then I'm just going to work it down. do take a q-tip or some paper towel to wipe the bases let it dry and it doesn't take very long before you can go on to the next but the uh, the trick to these is just making sure you know you got the vehicle in the right direction and uh, good adherence so I'm gonna let that dry and I'll go on to the next one If you're fletching straight to carbon, the process is the same. Um, 
you just want to lightly sand uh, the end of the arrow with a light grit sandpaper and uh, wipe off with acetone or alcohol and you're ready to go. Uh, some glues do leave a white residue on the shaft if you happen to have access, um, like this back spawn here. Um, that's where I use flesh type platinum, which is a more flexible glue um, and it dries clear and it gives it a nice clean job and also great adherence. So. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next one. So the last step you're going to do is uh, you're going to dot the fronts and the back of each vein, then you're going to let it dry, and you're ready to rock. Nicely fleshed arrow. 